Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the pre-orders from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. Welcome to all you new subscribers over the past month or so. This is mainly a Warhammer 40,000 channel but sometimes I'll upload some motorbike videos and uh, knife reviews. If you would like to support the channel as always I do have a Patreon so you can donate the channel for as little as a dollar a month. I make uh, daily videos but if you can't support it that way uh, I would suggest you use the affiliate link down below uh, to buy all your hobby goodness from Element Games. They ship all around the world and they can save you 25% off your models and a lot of you have done that recently so thank you so much. Uh, you guys you know who you are. You're the main reason I've been able to get all of the new uh, Adeptus Mechanicus releases and looking forward the new ninth edition models and the Lumineth Realm Lords when, when they drop. So thank you to you guys. The support really does mean a lot. If you haven't already, it's super easy. Just use the affiliate link, make an order, and that tells Element Games that I've recommended you basically. And that really does help the channel out. So thank you to, to you guys. Let's jump on in there to the Warhammer community. Uh, we will start from last week, uh, which is when we did the last video. That was way back on the 30th of May. Games Workshop decided to release all of the Adeptus uh, Mechanicus models. I kind of thought that they would stagger it. I mean, I, mean, I kind of like it, but I, yeah, it's, it's also quite costly uh, when they do it this way. But they decided to release the Engine War, Standard and Collector's Edition, and the publication um, Manipulus, which was only available um, in a Kill Team set. Uh, the Cerberus Raiders and Sulphur Hounds, that's one box. And then the uh, Sterilizers and Sky Stalkers, again, that's one box. The Archaeopter and the Start Collecting um, uh, box set. I mean, I guess if they staggered it over two weeks, they could have just brought out, I don't know, Engine War uh, and uh, these two box sets. Uh, and then maybe the week after the Archaeopter and the Start Collecting set. Um, and so on but they decided to just release everything in, in one week and um, there's yeah positives and negatives like i say the, the next day though on the sunday they had a little preview for all the new releases that are coming up for pre-order today and they are new uh, skies of fire for aeronautica imperialis kind of a little bit like adeptus titanicus but with little flyers and the flyers are to scale in the same way that the titans are are to scale um so if you've got some of these little flyers and you've got some titans, then um, you've already got the makings of, of the foundation of, a, of an epic force. Epic used to be a, a game well, back in the 90s um, that had uh, miniature versions of you know tanks, of thunderhawks, of titans, of um, space marines even, dreadnoughts, really, really cute. And, and the Adeptus Titanicus uh, model range has, has just kind of relit the fire uh, of how cute these these like miniature versions of the, of the full-scale models are. Anyway, moving on, there's the Taros Air War campaign book. Uh, then there's, uh, you can get the Imperial Navy fighters separately and the Valkyrie assault carriers separately, the Barracuda fighters and the Tiger Shark uh, fighter bombers and the Tiger Shark AX10 fighter bombers. Um, and then you've also got an engagement board and some dice, really nice looking dice. I love this sort of pearlescent effect. And then you've got this uh, kind of Ogryn camo green color there um, for, for the Imperial Navy. I also had some kill team cards and dice set. And for Middle Earth, we get a load of card packs. And then Black Library, there is a novel along with Heralds of the Siege. Um, it says that they were only available previously in e-publication and MP3, um, but it's now available in a book. It did actually come out a couple of months ago in April, and it is one of the numbered books. So I'm a bit baffled, you know, whether it did come out in hardback at one point, and now, it's, now they've changed it. But from the looks of it, it just reads that it hasn't been out in paperback or hardback before but anyway then there's a uh, this week's hottest news uh, so that's it for the sort of the preview there uh, you had a couple of articles with the, the ninth edition such as the rise of the score destroyer um, nice little detailed look at uh, this guy 
with this uh, Hyperphase Reap Blade. Um, pretty decent, that AP minus four, and a solid damage um, uh, three, rather than like a D3 or D6 or something. Uh, and then you've got all three of them, so that'll be interesting to see how much those three will cost. I'm guessing £35, maybe even 40 for them, but uh, we will see, we will see. Uh, then moving up, there's the Warhammer merch site. Nothing really appeals to me, guys, uh, if, I, if I'm completely honest. Uh, I, I think we've seen a few of these things before. And uh, they're, they're really pushing the, the new edition sort of logo and the Primaris uh, Lieutenant there. Um, or Blade Master or whatever. The Blade Guard, I think, because he's got a shield. And then there's the little iPhone case and then some... I work on on mugs, so yeah, they're they're pushing the new um, logo and things. I mean, I didn't really like the new logo to begin with because I'm so used to the the sort of grim, dark, gothic, um, you know, green and and black and things, and and now they've moved it forward. I mean, that logo has been around for about twenty years or so, so it's you know it's it's been around for a long time. But in the same way, I do um, conscribe to the if it's not broke, don't try and fix it kind of rule, but you know, if this is the way they're going with the new logo and it means that we're going to get new Necrons and hopefully new Xenos everything else and less Primaris, <laughs> fingers crossed, uh, then yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. Um, it's, it's quite a modern, um, it's quite a modern logo, modern font and uh, yeah, we'll see where they go with it. I'm still not a huge fan, I haven't let it sink in, in yet, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Then there was a rumour engine. This, I, I don't actually know what this could be. Uh, it says, guess the game system, guess the faction. I, th I mean, to me it looks like, it clearly looks like the, the foot of, of something Warhammer 40,000 or Adeptus Titanicus. Maybe it is is an Emperor Titan. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, the Why would you have that unarmoured? Why would you have it a cog? Um, I don't think it's anything Necron, it might be something Mechanicus, uh, and, and again, I'm not sure whether it could be something for Age of Sigmar, uh, but anyway. Uh, community Painting Competition winner for May, Self-Crowned King, that's pretty cool. Yeah, some amazing uh, paint, paint work going on there for them. Uh, faction focus for Tau Aircast. Join the Crusade. Um, so you talk. So they look at the the new Crusade campaign system. Uh, Warhammer Crime new books. Uh, another faction focus this time for the Astra Militarum. The forty k, the Warhammer forty thousand match play points and an app. Um, alongside the launch of this new edition, we are going to get the the app. It talks about the points limits for different battle sizes, which is really, really good, and the command points that you, you get get straight away, straight up, and gives you a, an idea of some, some of the new ones there, and uh, the different missions, and points values. They're, they're basically saying here that the points values have been reviewed and adjusted up across every faction so they've, they've been moved up so uh, you know I think intercessors were like 17 points or so and that they've now gone up to 20 chaos cultists I, I'm not really sure how many points they were before but they're now six and then um, yeah on the same day as they they have the pre-orders you get the you can uh, download the app um, for free I'm hoping as well and pretty sure that that will have all the points and um, all the all these new kind of points and things uh, and the detachments so you can build an army. Building the army in, in that is brilliant. Let's just hope that they have some really good pictures of their models on there because I do find that the Age of Sigmar app is a little bit lacking in, in that uh, department. Um, I would like to see more um, pictures of, of the, the units themselves. There's a regimental standard, uh, Middle Earth uh, around the community for ring bearers. Uh, then there was um, Apocrypha, Necromundus, Lingua Primus Part 2, taking command of your points, um, all the changes to the points for 140,000. Uh, they go through the battle size again, and um, which they did in, in the previous uh, one, but they have a total power level this time, they've added that that to it. Um, mustering your army, you've got different um, battalion detachments. To me, it looks like you have to have two HQs and three troops, and then everything else. That's what it kind of reads there more stratagems and then there's a core stratagem as well. 
Then there's the uh, the art of New 40k. Now show this one here with uh, Abaddon and uh, Gulliman, and uh, got a nice bit of artwork there. And here, man, this is quite interesting. Really weird sort of demons and icons and yeah, alien horrors and robot menaces. It says, um, so yeah, you you. <laughs> There's also what's known as page furniture. That's interesting. Small images that sit between paragraphs. Um, page furniture. I've never heard of that before. That's that's really cool. So yeah, this will be in in new book. Um, I'm, I'm guessing. Take the Skies of the Tower Aircast, Warhammer Underworld's Achievement Bingo. Then you've got Hammerhall, a uh, closer look at the Twin City. Uh, four sizes fit all um, for the new, uh, new game. So you've got the number of attachments based on the, the battle size. And it tells you the battle, so you can have a combat patrol. Uh, battle duration is up to one hour. Then strike forces, yeah, up to three hours, and the uh, battle battlefield size. So combat patrol incursion, they're saying forty-four inches by thirty inches. So if you've got a six by four um, table, uh, or you can link two twenty-two inch by thirty boards uh, together. And going on patrol and that's like a little kind of patrol mission and then it says grab yourself a start collecting set and you're pretty much there and then a bone to pick as well for role models so that's it for all of the uh, news uh, this week for Saturday the 6th of June let's go on over to Forge World where I think you'll find that there's nothing <laughs> for pre-order still it's a bit of a shame but it's understandable you know a lot of uh, them a lot of their models they have to sort of make in a way make to order but they do have you know a fair amount in stock but they just don't make them in any kind of um scale as uh, as games workshop pump out their um their sprues but yeah if we just clicked on new for instance there's nothing available to, to pre-order there um hopefully we'll get this back in the next uh couple of weeks that would be nice because they they do have a fair few models to to release and i'm sure i'm sure there's a lot of you um that are waiting with bated breath to to buy a dreadnought or to to buy a knight or even a titan or, or something like that and um, once they're they're up and running again okay and if we just hop on over to the games workshop web store right here uh, you can see straight away that you've got a big advert there for Aeronautica Imperialis I myself haven't picked up uh, Aeronautica Imperialis I don't really have a reason why I, I guess I'm more into uh, Titans and tanks and walkers than I am uh, aircraft I, I don't really have that many aircraft in my 40k army I, I mean I've got the the Ares gunship a Thunderhawk a Stormbird Vulture, Valkyrie, a couple of other flyers as well, like Storm Ravens and the Archaeopter and, and the Xiphon um, Interceptor. Uh, but I haven't really purchased like the Lightning or the Thunderbolt or um, another Thunderhawk or, or the Avenger uh, craft. I haven't really bought that many um, aircraft for, for 40k. And I guess that's reflected in, in me not starting this um, game system. But anyway, uh, let's have a little look. So this this is on the first page, and then you've got engine war and yeah, more engine war. So this is mainly the the first uh, piece that you can see. If we click on pre-orders and we go view all, and we go high to low. So right here, then you've got the Taros Air War Collection, uh, which looks like you get uh, everything. You get um, the a new um, battle mats or war zones you get the campaign book uh, two sets of cards and dice and then all the new aircraft 204 pound there then the navy taros collection you get the new aircraft uh, you get uh, the the box game 
and you get the the dice do you get the box game with this uh, collection does it say i don't think you do no possibly not whereas this one you do get skies of fire so that's interesting aeronautica skies of fire so for the most expensive kit you don't get skies of fire hmm. okay well that's interesting to know if you're going to buy this you'd probably assume that you get the you know the game and everything with it but there we go uh, then you've got the tower aircast collection uh, same price there we've got the new tower aircraft uh, we've got all the engine war mechanica stuff from last week uh, but then you've got skies of fire um, which has again new aircraft uh, and a, a war zone 55 pounds not not too bad really uh, i think it almost looks like um, Games Workshop version of uh, X-Wing, um, but uh, put with sort of planetary aircraft. Even though the, the even though I think these are avoid capable, um, and one could could actually argue that Battlefield Gothic was, um, you know, the, their version of that. But they had that before X-Wing um, came out. Anyway, fifty five pound for um, ten miniatures, some dice and uh, the rule book and so on that's not that bad of an entry point really to, to you know to get get some games going straight away then you've got some more engine more stuff you've got the engagement board 26 pounds i think it's reversible the furnace and then a uh, grand reservoir oh vast subterranean water sorry it's not night it's it's underwater but it's um subterranean uh, water purification system and it is three three by three so not not too bad there then you've got the different um new aircraft so you've got the ax-10 fighter bombers 26 pounds i think you only get two though uh yeah so two two bases and two two of the miniatures yeah as detailed there then you've got what looks like Valkyrie Assault Carriers. I think you're going to get four in that set. Yep. And then... Holy moly, six uh, Lightning Fighters. That's a fair amount there. Uh, for the same price. So two, four and six. Then you get... six um barracuda fighters and then two uh tiger shark fighter bombers and then there's the campaign book for 22 pounds and the e-publication this is the kill team card and dice set for 17 pound 50. you've got the aircraft uh, and aces for 16 pound and then you've got profile packs for middle earth they're all 16 pounds there's three of them if you've got more aeronautica cards for 16 the, the dice are 10 pounds those Taras dice look quite nice. And then you've got uh, Heralds of the Siege paperback. I think this was only available in, in hardback and now it is out in paperback. You've also got Ghoul Slayer and um, a couple of Warhammer Adventure uh, novellas, I want to call them. So yeah, this was available on paperback on Amazon a good couple of months ago or so. Uh, so it has, has been around. And, and then yeah, before that it was it was available in hardback. So I guess you can't get it in hardback anymore and it's just, just here for paperback. And that's pretty much it for my look at all the news and pre-orders uh, for Saturday the 6th of June. Um, still a fair amount, they're still pushing quite a lot, especially coming off of the back of last week where we had all of the, the Engine War and the Adeptus Mechanicus uh, releases. So still very, very strong. I'm really looking forward to see what they have up their sleeve for next weekend and also whether Forge World uh, is back up and running and making miniatures again. I think we're still a bit too early for the ninth edition. I still think that's that's got a little bit of a way to go, but they might completely surprise me and just throw it out there next week. Who knows, but let's wait and see. We'll find out tomorrow afternoon when they put up on the community website the first look at the you know next week's pre-orders. So we'll have to wait and see for that. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me this weekend. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protects.